<laughs> and we're back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so let's pull up the battle map because this might be happening. I just want to give you guys a clear view. This is what you guys see. I mean, you guys, both Akita and Yinro don't, don't see this, but the rest, but um, Larissa, that's what you see, is you see this exact setup. The wizard's right here, <laughs> and he just cast that spell. Yeah, just for the viewers, uh, let them know the caveats about the map real quick, so they're not confused. Okay, so as we said, the, the tents were set up in a triangular formation, and there were people walking back and forth. But they had stopped. And the rock right here isn't actually there. It's just we don't have a battle map for a particular open area. The like these little terrain things aren't there. It's just a circle clearing. It's just we don't have a battle map for that one. We had to reuse one of the old ones. Because the this battle was impromptu. So <laughs> As is many things in D&D. As in many things. <laughs> okay. That is where we left off. Okay. And Larissa was... Is deciding what Larissa is doing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um... Well, I was going to do the... Five, the like what? Okay. Like what Akita said, I was going to um, a fucking a fire flame tents, but I have no way to put a fire on an arrow. So, but, you don't have you don't have a cloth and alcohol. And a what what do you have in your inventory? Wise, you have which pack? Um, I would assume explorer's pack. Yes. All right, let me – because they actually have stuff in these packs. That's why I'm looking it up. Because I know that we used it, we used it in my campaign or my wife's campaign. Someone's campaign. Yeah, we, we did it in one of the campaigns. <laughs> So technically, you have torches, which are basically oil-soaked rags on sticks. Yeah, just just like unravel the the, the top uh, part of the torch and put it around yeah. an arrow. That's yeah. kind of what I I think I was the one that did it. I'm not sure because I know we did it in one of them. Basically, it can be done. I also have a tinder box too. So oh, yeah, let's light it. Yeah, I'll just do that. Just wrap it around like the bitch, and I guess I will shoot. Um, you have the option to draw on the map, so just I know. Okay, good. I guess I will shoot this tent right here. Okay, with a fire arrow. Let's see here. Is this how you do it? How do you do that? That um, there we go. Oh yeah, easily. Yeah, pretty easily. I just wanted to make sure that the distance wise, because a yeah. longbow has a max distance it can shoot. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, longbow is pretty far, so. Yeah, that's why I was like, I know it has a well, max distance of six hundred. Yeah, <laughs> I know some of them are pretty short. That's why I wanted to double check the distance. You know, just to make sure. Yeah. All right. Yep. So you easily launch the arrow. Easily. Now, are you doing it? Are you running out into the clearing or are you doing it right where you're at? Uh, right where I'm at. And to be more descriptive, I'm like, I'm not shooting it straight forward. I'm shooting it up in like an arc to where it will come down on top of the tent. Oh, good job. All right. Roll. Roll an attack. Just see, uh, just to, just see if you arc it just right, because you are in the woods. So, yeah, I mean, you are skilled. I just wanted to make sure that you know, you would have got below that. I would, you would have 
hit the tent that's closer. Yeah, just like hit like right at the medium there. Yeah. That's why I wanted to make sure. Just wanted to. Okay. Oh yeah. So you you catch the tent on fire. Yeah. What's up? I see, I see the arrow fly and hit the tent, and I, I look at Yenro and be like, let's hit the other two tents. Okay. Now, do you have Explorer's Packs with you, or? Yes, okay. I do. Oh, I didn't know what packs you guys all picked. That's why yeah, I, I Yeah, I took Explorer's. Uh, I don't know about Andrew, but. I don't remember what I grabbed, but I don't think it was that one. Uh, check Check your character sheet. It's not on here. <laughs> okay, check the file you're using your character from. Okay, it, no, hang on. It doesn't matter, because it's like, if he doesn't have Explorer's Pack, I'm going to hand him my extra. Okay, yeah, it don't matter. You got ten torches yeah. anyway, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to I'm gonna hit the, I'm going to hit that one, and you hit the other one. Okay. All right, so roll the, uh, the attacks just to make sure. Because you guys are actually further away than what I can show on the map. Jeez. Yes, and plus using short short bows. Yeah, well, and, and he might he might be using his crossbow. But what is the distance on a crossbow? It should stay. Should it? Oh, I just hit the wrong button. Yeah, you hit, hit, hit the gear. Yeah. Are we more than sixty? Um, sixty feet. It's yeah. kind of close. I'm like, also, also, just for clarification, I'm like Ashlyn, who like did like the upward shot. Like I just do a straight straight shot. Yeah, from where I place you guys is on the map. It's forty five, and you guys are further away due to the fact you guys are stealthy. So yeah, the farthest distance, but a short bow should be able to get more than sixty feet max. Mm -hmm. No, nah, it says sixty on it for both. Short bow? Yeah, range 60 foot. Hold on. But you're, like, right next to me. So, like, you should be able to hit this tent, like, super easy. Yeah, that's why I'm double checking. Because that doesn't seem... It seems like it should go further. That's what it says when I click the gear. A short bow under the um, 5e item says 80 at minimum and 320 at max. Yeah, so you can hit it. Okay, good. I just want to make sure, because... Like I was saying, it's, it's different for a short bow. Okay. Oh, wait, so you guys both can do it. Now roll. Well, he already did his. All yeah. right, Akita. Roll what? Roll an attack. We're just going for the first number. Wait, I already rolled an attack. I thought. Yeah. Um, she rolled her short bow. Oh, the yeah. roll. Okay, you're the right, one right above it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Well, it's because it popped up yours right after. Um, oh, no worries. No worries. Yeah, I was like, looking at his, I didn't even look where yours was, sorry. No worries, I was just so, The funny thing is, when you shoot, when you shot yours, and you guys did like this really cool synchronized dual fire, midway up, they started matching the same trajectory. <laughs> okay. So, you were aiming for the this one. Top one. I was aiming for the bottom one. Yeah, you're aiming for this one. Yeah, I was I was aiming up here. Yeah, you're aiming at this one right here. Your arrow <laughs> went up and matched. So now this one lodged two arrows in it. <laughs> <laughs> like okay. yeah, I got this, but you were synchronized a little too well. <laughs> <laughs> so this so you, you caught the tent on fire. I'm just saying you guys did not get the yellow one. <laughs> okay. So they are on fire. And at that point, right when you release the arrows, you notice that Larissa's arrow shot, lodged into the tent that Larissa was look, you know, shooting at and broke the wizard's concentration because his, his robes caught fire through the fact where he was at and where the arrow hit. Right. <laughs> okay. So, and then, all of a sudden, the sounds all come back. You hear, you hear horns blaring, people yelling, yelling, we're under attack, we're under attack! And this guy is ordering 
Somebody over here that you guys can't see. The, the tent right here. Uh, I can move it real quick. This guy right. Uh, come on, move. The tent right here. Uh -huh. Move on you guys' map. Uh, no. Okay. Okay, the tent where you guys caught on fire. <laughs> I don't want to switch to the other one. <laughs> going at that tent, not the other one, where you were aiming for originally. Yelling at them to leave, to get out of there. Your tent is on fire. As, as he does, the tent falls to shambles. As these are really oddly dried. Like, you know how tents, they're, they're flammable. I mean, all tents are flammable in this era. But this one caught too quick. Mm -hmm. And burned away too quick. As you thought you seen 15. Like you swore you counted 15 different heads. Okay. As you you now at your vantage point can see there were seven individuals there. All huddled around the now burnt down tent. Oh, fuck. I gotta check something real quick. <laughs> Okay. As he looks at you, he yells something you, you don't understand. What language do you actually understand? What languages do you know? Uh, I don't want to assume that you don't know it. Um, common infernal thieves can. Yep, you don't know the language. <clears throat> uh, would it, would may, anyone else be able to know it? May, may I assume it's uh, draconic? Uh, you don't know. Okay. Does anyone else? What other language does everyone else know? Uh, common, draconic, infernal, and abyssal. You do recognize it is draconic. I mean, it's me after all. I figured. I, I figured taking draconic with you would be a good idea. It's, <laughs> and, and considering what campaign we're running, yeah. 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 Pretty good idea. I don't know draconic. <laughs> okay. Okay. So she hears something. She hears. Weird, a weird language. She knows draconic, so she knows the essence of these words. But it's pointing in your direction. Make sure I know the spell that I, I think I do. I need the one that's most visible, which would be, the way you guys are running would be Yinro. Yinro. Like, What do I need to do? I'm looking up the... There it is. To make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom? Yes. <laughs> totally professionals, by the way. Well, I, I couldn't remember if it was wisdom or constitution. I think I failed. You failed. <laughs> <laughs> as you recognize it as a spell instantly in Draconic. And yells, stop. Oh. As your whole body locks up. Ah, oh, shit. He cast command. I couldn't remember the like the exact, you know. That's why I checked the distance too. It has a sixty foot range, and where he was at, where you guys were at, because you guys moved the tire. That's the distance we used. So, so you locked up in your and firing position. Was I able to hear it being command? Yes. In in reaction, can I shoot an arrow at him? Yeah, uh, a lot. I meant, we know that he's commanding in the general direction where your friends are, so. Boop. Ooh. That hits? Yeah. <laughs> no, that hits. <laughs> that hit so good. That really did. <laughs> it's, you know what stat it has? Yeah, that hits really, really good. <laughs> he ugh, hits his shoulder and is wincing in pain, breaking his concentration. Yes. What was playing for? <laughs> uh, it doesn't say. It's, I figured this is command commands a freaking concentration spell, so that's how I'm treating it. Right yeah. Because it doesn't say it is, but it doesn't say it's not. So it makes sense that it would be. It really would in this sense, it would. As it breaks the concentration, you feel you know you feel your body loosen up, and it's like okay, now I can do this. 
looks directly at you. Larissa puts his hand up. Make me a wisdom saving throw. If I oh fire another one, damn it. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like, no, you're not commanding my friends. Fuck you. No, you this one's pointing towards you, and yes. make me a wisdom saving throw. Yep. Yep. Uh, <laughs> scroll up. Oh. oh no. Nope, I'm commanded. Says flee. Oh, flee. flee. Okay. So you, you just have to run away. Okay. Yeah. Run away. And I want to shoot and... an arrow at him. <laughs> oh my god, the poor guy! <laughs> <laughs> so at that point, you hear a lady's voice coming from the group of people that you've seen. Okay. Yelling, stop! Don't hurt him! I... Yelling in your direction, because they don't know you guys are there. The wizard has a higher perception than they do. That's why he was able to see you guys stealth over there. Okay. But just yells in your general direction, please don't, please stop attacking him. He's our friend. Not menacingly voiced or anything, just generally. I pull back my dagger, keep it ready, but I walk towards this person. Okay, so you enter the encampment? Yes, towards the person that's saying don't hurt them. Now, were you... Oh, wait, let me go this one. Were you the green one or the other one? I was the red one. Okay, so you're about right... We'll say about right there. We'll say, well, yeah, we'll say on the red one this time, regardless of last episode. Yeah, I couldn't remember if you, I, I think you were that one because that one was over here, you know, over in the where yeah. the area when I clicked on the map. So <laughs> yes, I say come out. So as you say come out, you notice that the one in the middle walked over here, and she has her hands up. She is wearing robes. Just like the wizard. Her hands are non menacingly, not aggressively goes, Why are you guys attacking us? What did we do? I feel that you all took my stuff last night. And she 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 gives this like look of disappointment in her face. Just like honestly <laughs> like oh no. She goes just turns around and goes, Robert, Joseph, and you can tell it the, the way that she said these names. You get the feeling that it's probably someone either beneath her or it's the mother. Like just the way that she was yelling and the names that she yelled the way she did. Yeah, it's okay. Medea. And you see <laughs> two individuals. I'm gonna move them away. Start trying to sneaking away. About right there. Before the wizard that cast command on your friend looks at them and waves his hand and casts and says stop on both of them. And they just like, oh, fuck. Okay. And like, this is all like happening all of a sudden. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, my eyes are shifting. Like, yeah. the hell? <laughs> and she turns around and she goes, where were you two last night? Well, we went for a walk and we said, yes, yes, we went for a walk. They're both like in unison talking. <laughs> and she goes, well, they said that they're missing some supplies. And you guys brought back a lot of stuff last night. And she, she tells you that over in the other tent, I'm deleting it now. There was, there's all your supply. You know, you see a bunch of like duffel bags and weapons and stuff like that. She goes, We are a traveling merchant. Still hands up. Still, you know, trying to be not aggressive to you. And we are running low on supplies. Our wagon was attacked on the way in. We, we were attacked by a group of goblins and. We got away with what we got. It, you know, and they, they found all this extra supplies. 
Well, why would you attack our wagon for that? We don't attack anybody. And, and so, you notice that where your stuff are is your stuff, but there's also bloody bags and stuff that you would deduce were at the other game that was slaughtered. I want to see if she's lying. All right, roll an insight. And, and I move closer. Well, I, I figured you were going to move closer. <laughs> and Larissa, the command only lasts for one round, so you don't have to flee. So. Okay, well, I'm going to come back then. You believe her. Yeah, you believe her. She, she seems like she's telling the truth. I mean, that would make sense why you left Larissa alone. And she goes, I, this is the first time I've seen you guys. I've never seen you guys before. And the hands, uh, like I said, the hands have never, like, gestured for spellcasting or anything. Her hands have always been, like, in plain sight. What about our horse? Okay. And at that point, you hear... The other two go. It was an audible oh. whisper, loudly, like "shit." Also, I'd like to do something at the same time. Okay. Um, I'd like to call out to Robert. And he, like, he, like he, he had a freeze for one round, so he's like this, and he turns around and he goes, "Yes." Was this the woman that you saw laying on the ground when you vandalized our caravan? He, you can see, like, yeah, you can see like he's trying to keep his eyes away from you and your friends. Like, <laughs> I don't know what you mean. We found this stuff on the road. And it's like keeping his eyes away from everything. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up to him in front of him and be like, Is this is this who you saw on the ground? And, and again, like I said, he's keeping his eyes away from your guys' bodies or Faces or anything is going. I don't know what you mean. Uh, we found this stuff on the road. I walk up to the same person that she's intimidating, and I'm gonna actually intimidate him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this poor guy's gonna piss himself. At <laughs> okay. It is not like Steve. Thank goodness. <laughs> but remember, I'm a demon child. I'm a demon. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. I mean, again, he's making sure not to keep an eye, co you know, eye contact, and he's. Like, no, really, I don't know what you guys are talking about. And, you know, you can tell the way he's holding himself, the way he's talking. He is lying off his ass. But he's not intimidated. Now his I, mother I walk up. up and behind him and grab his head to make him look. Okay. As you go to grab <laughs> his head, his mother walks up right beside you, right? Mm -hmm. And goes, oh, that won't be necessary. Touches him. And you guys see these black tendrils shoot from her hand down his body. Oh, fuck. Um... And all as she does, he starts screaming in agonizing pain, drops to his knee, and says, Yes, yes, I stole your stuff. Well, it's I, over there. that's good enough for me. <laughs> so now what do we do? Well, she goes, I can, I can stop him from ever doing that again. No, I want my stuff back. Well, it's right over there. It's your stuff. We are a traveling merchants. We don't want your stuff. We want legally purchased stuff. Because I don't oh. want to have to give refunds, as these two know. What about our horse? Can we get that back, too? And at that point, you hear Joseph start whimpering. And it's like, okay. Truth is, we found your packs on the road. We weren't lying about that. We knew it was you guys due to the fact that we saw you guys walking back from the other camp. We stole their stuff. We did not kill them. Like he, At this point, he's like pissed himself. And he's like, we did not kill those people. <laughs> and at that point, his you figure it's his mother. Look at him. I mean, she's acting like a mother figure. Look at him and go, what about killing people? How do you... How do we know you didn't kill those people, huh? And at that point, she puts his hand, her hand on his shoulder. And you see again, those black tendrils shoot down, screaming. He goes, I really? They were already dead. 
We just stole their supplies. And we stole you guys' camp. And the horse, this is already gone. We swear, we swear, and like, at this point, they're both like, yes, we oh, really, we stole this stuff, we, we understand what you fucked up. <laughs> I looked at the mother, I was like, how are you doing that? Oh, it's an easy spell. Have you heard of inflict wounds? Oh, they're that susceptible for weak intimidation? Let's just say that I'm persuasive in that manner. Seems a lot extreme, don't you think? Nope. And, and you can and you look around and you see that these guys are built to like lug heavy stuff and they're ripped and like yes, but do not see how they are versus me. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yes. That's a lesson. <laughs> yes. I see a frail woman who intimidates a bunch of burly men. Yes. It's actually and very easy. And if I want to get more physical, and she pulls out this ragged-looking dagger. So if you guys ever see what an affame looks like, it's a blade that goes in an S. Mm -hmm. Like, it just curves. She pulls that out and goes, I'm more skilled with this than those rudimentary spells. And as she pulled out the dagger, you saw their faces go pure white with fear. Mm. I'm wondering, would you be open to a friendly duel? No killing, no stabbing. Let's see how we match up again. Sure, and she goes, and she, like, grabs those two, throws them down, looks at the, the other guy and goes, keep them here while we do this, please. And he, he waves his hand. And so, if... Ashlyn remembers the spell imprisonment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cast imprisonment uh, out of you know out of character. That's what it is. But you guys just see these cage-like things swirl around them, and they can't move. And she goes, oh yes, we can certainly duel. Just me, or you, me versus you, or me versus the three of you. Oh. Well, I'm open for it either. I look, I look back to see if any of them want to take part. I just sit down. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll join. And do okay. you say no weapons or weapons? Um, weapons are fine. Like I said, no, no stabbing, no, oh. no, actually killing each other. But you can injure each other, of course. That's okay, are we fun. doing here or the woods? Right. Oh. <laughs> I can tell that you, like, and she looks at you and just kind of, like, ponders. I can tell that you are of the stealthing sort. Mm. Yes. And my friend here decided to join. I'm sure that'll make it much more fun for you. That, that'll make it plenty fun. <laughs> Um, out in the Wait, way. hold on. Should we up the stakes? I will put five gold saying I can beat you guys in two rounds. Two rounds. And I won't move for the first. <laughs> and she's, like, really confident. And she, like, pulls out five gold and sets it right in front of, right in front of you, right on the ground, you know, just this way you can see it. It's real money and, you know. You can pick it up. She's like, no, inspect it. it it's fine. And it's like really arrogant, and you don't know why. Like, oddly arrogant. Um, five gold is fine. Okay. Okay. So, so where where are we gonna do this? When and where? Right, we we can do it right now and right in that wood line. You guys can use the whole force if you guys want. The Sarah, you ready? Mm-hmm. And she goes, oh. the, rest, the rest of the story. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you guys a five second head start to find your little hidey holes. Oh, you <laughs> become afraid. And she, she closed her eyes and goes, one. Okay, run off. Two. 
Yeah, I'm gonna, right. run, I'm gonna run off and climb in, climb, right. or climb up into a tree and stealth myself, like behind leaves of a branch or something. Okay, roll stealth. Do, 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 do. Akita, roll stealth because I know you're stealthing. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So you guys find your hole, and then you guys hear four. Five. And she nonchalantly just rolls in. So, here, I'll I move moved. these guys out, and we'll just say that this map okay. is out woods. Yeah, here. <laughs> map, is, map is now woods. And then this way, you guys, and the tent here will be where all your friends are at. But I'm moving everyone sure. in here. Sure. Where we can use this map and give more visual aids. <laughs> And we're saying like, he's just kind of sitting put, over here. Put, the, put this person like right here or whatever. Nonchalantly walk, yeah. like, walking up like Xenos. Oh, and yeah. Can you grab one. <laughs> I'll grab you. All right. So right there. Nonchalantly walking. And okay. So where do you want me to put you, Larissa? Um, Within 30 feet-ish, right? So that'd be the time frame. Yeah, we'll say that. Anywhere um, on that. Uh, since I assume I ran the same direction, um, we'll go like here ish. Here? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be like behind here, like by a tree. Okay. So. She gets in the woods and says, ooh, you guys 